Hello everyone. As all of you know, Simple Stories is one of my favorite companies to buy from. And starting 2015, Simple Stories will probably be um, the only company that I probably will be buying a majority of my items from. Um, within time, over, you know, over time, you notice I don't really like that style of that company anymore or that company is really not for me. So one of the companies that I love their products and have loved their products for years now and seem to always stick with is Simple Stories. So for 2015, I decided to really just stick to Simple Stories items. Um, I will be using other items that are already in my stash, but for the most part, I will be using Simple Stories. I will maybe buy a journal card here and there from other companies, but mostly I will be sticking with the story, the Simple Stories um, lines. I love the colors and the items that they offer for their lines. One of the new things that are out and a lot of people are talking about is the Simple Stories Life Documented Line and a Documented Planner. Um, at first, I wasn't going to do the planner because I'm not really a planner person. However, I decided to go ahead and do it because I was tired of using stickies, forgetting where I put the sticky at, lose the sticky. Um, the stick, you know, the sticky was just going. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and try something new, try something different, and I can incorporate the line with my scrapbook and stuff and a planner line. So I hope moving forward that Simple Stories does decide to do a different line for the planner every year. I could not decide. I looked at, you know, blogs and Pinterest and different people videos. I could not decide on what color planner should I get. Should I use the pink or the turquoise? So I decided to go ahead and get both of them. Um, part of the year I will use the turquoise and then part of the year I'll probably switch over to the pink. For right now, um, starting out, I will be using the turquoise color. So I bought these two. Um, I think these are so cute and I love the leather look. I also bought some Simple Stories pouches. Um, I bought quite a few. I plan on probably putting one or two in my planner. And the other ones I'm going to use once I open up the items, I'll just store them in my Roscott cart by Ikea. And down the line, I plan on doing a video and hopefully this video uploads to YouTube. I plan on doing a YouTube video showing you my Roscott cart and what I did with But most of my Simple Stories items are in my two of them. I brought this right here, which are snap dividers. These are really cute. It comes in a pack of three. Then these right here are the Insta Squares. And you get 52 Insta Squares. I brought two packs of these because these was like selling out everywhere. And I thought they were really cute. So I brought two packs of these and I actually am about to order probably two more packs. Because you can go through these really fast. So I um, have some other items from this line on the way as well. I also ordered another pack of these, which I thought was really cute. I love the labels in here and then the numbers. Hopefully, Simple Stories will come out with a stamp with the numbers on here. I thought those were so cute. And then I have two more pack, a pack of each of these coming as well. Because you go through the numbers so fast when you're doing Project Life. So I ordered another pack of these. Then these right here are the sticky notes. These are so adorable. They're really cute. I thought you probably would get more in this pack, but that'll do. And then a washi strips. I'm not really a big washi person, but I thought that this was just enough to use and you won't have a lot left over. And plus, I like the fact that there's not more rolls. It's just a strip. And the clips. I fell in love with these clips. I love these clips right here. So I ordered another pack of these as well, and I'm waiting for those to arrive. Another thing that I ordered for my planner was the 156 pages of daily planner inserts. So, and I know it's like March and the post office was holding my package hostage for like a week. I was already supposed to have this a week ago. And these are um, envelopes and pocket inserts. It comes with three and you can put bills or memorabilia in these envelopes. So I got those. And this right here is a 27 page monthly divider. It comes with different inserts and things that you can dot, jot down. So this is really cute. Hopefully I can up, I will upload a video 
later on showing you my planner once I get it all together. This right here is 26 pages life documented planner inserts. Um, I do plan on getting another pack of these as well. And this right here is weekly planner inserts, which is not these I plan on getting. I'm going to keep just one pack of these as these right here that I plan on getting more of. It's 26, which, you know, it's 52 weeks. So, of course, I don't know if it's front to back, but I'll check. But I probably will get another pack of these so that I'll have enough for the 52 weeks. And this right here is basic planner inserts where you can make do your menu, make a list, what you need to get done, and also write it down and put your phone numbers and stuff like that in here. And in this page right here, you can make whatever you want. And then this right here, you can put these inserts in there to separate them. So I got that. And also, Simple Stories every month is starting to give out free printables. So for January, when I decided to do it, I already printed out January and cut it down. And let me just show you their inserts that they did for January, which was really cute. This one right here, I decided to put that in the front of my book and just cut it down a little bit more and put it in this six by eight sleeve. But it shows you where to cut the lines at. Then this one right here is a five by seven. This one is a four by six, which I think is really cute. Then this right here is all the holidays and when they fall for 2015. This right here is birth. You can put um, your family's birthdays and it gives you two sheets of those. And I just highly suggest putting these on a thicker cardstock, which I did with my, I put it on a thicker cardstock that I purchased from Staples. I believe I purchased this cardstock so long ago. I'm really not sure where I purchased it from, but I did see a new cardstock that they had that was still thick. That'll work. And this right here is you can put your shopping list on weekly or however you decide to do it. This is a weight tracker and it gives you 52. So if you're, you know, you want to lose weight or you're starting, you know, a different, a new goal, it gives you the week, week one, week two. So however you want to do it. And then you can put your weight total amount that you lost or that you gained. I thought it was really cute. And this right here is a food and fitness tracker. It gives you like week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And you can print this out as many weeks as you would like. And then this one right here is January. Um, what did we do? Who we saw? Don't um, forget favorites. Um, what we love, where we went. So you really could, um, I guess, write it out and then just put whatever month you want over top of that. And then who, what, when, where, why. This one right here is gift giving list. This will come in handy for Christmas or your birthdays. And then right here is where I printed out February's on a different card stock. And this right here is February. I had to just cut them down. I'll cut them down later on today. And this right here gives you um, people to see, places to go, things to do. So this will be probably really good for the summertime. And you can just print it out at any time you would like to. I believe Simple Stories is going to leave them up. I know January's is still up for those who have not downloaded it yet. And this right here is a Project Life Planner. It gives you ideas, sketches, some of the same sheets that's in there. You can just keep on reprinting it. This one right here is recipes to try or music to check out. So you can write those down. Books to read and movies to watch. I figured this really could, you could do this for yearly. So you could kind of just either put it in the back of your book or in the front of your book for things that you want to try. And you just keep them on that same sheet. And then I just reprinted it by mistake um, on a thinner sheet of paper. But I will probably still will use it and just, just put it in my book. So this is the Simple Stories um um, life documented kit and if you're interested um, there are several places that sell this kit um, where I got mine was all scrapbooksteals.com um, some of the items are selling out really fast so I suggest you you know go over there check them out or either you can get them over scrapbook.com and cherry on top so many different websites is carrying this line right now and I'll be back to show you the scrapbooking items that I purchased from this line